All right, this is grade four, module two, lesson two, and we're going to be talking about metric mass measurements, and we're going to be adding them and subtracting them. And in this problem, we're being asked to find the equivalent measures, and in this case, it looks like most of them are in the smaller units. And so for this first one, we have two kilograms and 700 grams, and we're supposed to write that in grams only. So 2 kilograms is equal to 2,000 grams, plus the 700 grams that we already have, so that gives us 2,700 grams. <clears throat> Let's skip down to problem C. So 29 kilograms and 58 grams. Well, 29 kilograms so that's essentially 29 thousands. So because there's a thousand grams in each kilogram, so we have 29 thousands. So that's 29 thousand grams plus the 58 grams that we already have. So that's 29 thousand 58 grams. <clears throat> and then let's take a look at E. E is going in reverse. We have 66,597 grams. So these 66,000, that's going to be 66 kilograms. And then we have 597 grams left over. So the answer is 66 kilograms, 597 grams. All right, for these, <clears throat> we're being asked to add and express the answer in the smaller unit, meaning uh, since we've got kilograms and grams, the smaller unit is going to be in terms of grams. So let's add. There's a couple of ways we could do this. Um, one way is to say, all right, well, let's take the 27 kilograms and the 547 grams, and we're going to add... 694 grams. So let's add the grams to the grams. So 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. So we have 1,241 grams. And then we could add the kilograms together. There's nothing down here. So 27 kilograms plus 0 kilograms is equal to 27 kilograms. But we know that 1,000 grams equals a kilogram. So if I subtract 1,000 here, that leaves us with 241 grams left over. And that extra 1,000 kilograms that I've subtracted out, I can move it over, and that equals 28 kilograms. That equals one additional kilogram. So we end up with 28 kilograms, 241 grams. There's other ways that we could have solved that problem. Like we could have taken the 27 kilograms and turned everything into grams. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot. They want us to express the answer in the smaller unit. So really, this I need to go back. I need to look at this. This is not really our final answer. This, is, by the way, is the right answer. Uh, but they want us to express the answer in grams. So this 28 kilograms is really 28,000 grams plus the 241 grams that we have together uh, already. We add that together and we get 28,241 grams. That is our final answer. Now let's go up here and let's do this next one. Again, we're supposed to express the answer in the smallest unit, or the smaller unit, which is in this case grams. So let's do this problem a different way. Let's take the 16 kilograms and let's convert that into 16,000 grams Plus, we, all, we want to add to that the 20, uh, 2,800 grams. So we have 16,000 grams. Add to it the 2,800 
grams. We add that. And we get 18,800 grams. And that is our final answer because they wanted us to express the answer in the smaller unit. So that we are officially done on that problem. That one was much quicker than the first one. All right, in our last example, we have a bag of potatoes and a bag of onions that weigh a total of 11 kilograms, 15 grams. And if the bag of potatoes weighs 7 kilograms, 300 grams, how much does the bag of onions weigh? So I'm going to draw a tape diagram of this. And our tape diagram is actually going to be a part, part, whole. So we've got the, uh, let's call these the potatoes. And let's call these the onions. And together, they weigh 11 kilograms, 15 grams. And we know that the bag of potatoes weighs 7 grams, I'm sorry, 7 kilograms, 300 grams. And the question is, what does the bag of onions weighs, weigh? So that's our question mark right there. So what we need to do on this problem, one way to solve it, is to use subtraction. So we're going to subtract 11 kilograms, 15 grams, and we're going to subtract 7 kilograms, 300 grams. So there's a couple of ways we could solve this problem. Uh, let's do it kind of the algorithm way, although we, we can do it either way we want. But now we're going to start with the 15 grams and the 300 grams, and we're supposed to subtract. But you can't subtract 300 grams from 15 grams. So we're going to take one of these kilograms leaving us with 10 kilograms left over, and we're going to bring that over here. Now, that one kilogram that we're taking is worth 1,000 grams. Add that to the 15 that we already have. That gives us 1,015 grams. So now we can subtract... 1,015 grams minus 300. And I'm going to do that over here on scratch paper. 1,015 grams, subtract out 300, and that gives us 715 grams. So that's right here, 715 grams. And then over here, 10 kilograms minus 7 kilograms gives us 3 kilograms. And that is our answer, 3 kilograms 715 grams, and that's how much the onions weigh. And that is Grade 4, Module 2, Lesson 2.